Hey guys, welcome to the spot. Caps here with a new video how to gear up for Magushan Vault, a general guide for all classes. Let's get into it. The first thing we'll discuss today is the recommended uh, gear and eye level for a first step in Mogushan. As a reminder, uh, Mogushan Vault is the first raid we'll uh, be able to access in MOP. It won't uh, be accessible directly on the 25th, but rather a week later, on the 2nd of uh, October. Meaning uh, everyone will at least have a full week to level to 90 and from some gear no matter uh, you being in the world first hardcore guild or in the last casual one. Well I guess if you're in the last uh, casual guild you'll take a bit more than a week but you know what I mean. A gear level of about uh, 463 to 470 uh, is gonna be mandatory in normal mode in order to expect any reasonable result. And sure, uh, you can always try it with a bit less gear, but that would uh, really be pushing it, and things might get really uh, stressful, not to say totally impossible, at some times. Getting to this uh, required 463 eye level, uh, then to the recommended 470, uh, will truly take all you've got. From uh, questing to heroics, uh, and scenarios and elephant farming, then gear crafting and justice and valor points are usage to even PvP gear. Yep, PvP gear shouldn't be neglected here, as in MOP uh, they aren't uh, that uh, penalizing anymore to have in PvE. But of course, uh, there will still remain exceptions and will only be equipped uh, if you can't find any better PvE piece for a specific slot. Here is a gearing step-by-step -step diagram to have a more accurate view on how we'll be proceeding. The idea uh, is to start forming heroics as soon as possible for level 463 pieces, then later on LFRs uh, as well as soon as uh, they become accessible for some epic level 476 gear. Uh, while doing that, you will have to increase your reputation with factions like the Klaxi or the Golden Lotus uh, and the Shadow Pan with Dailies for some more epic gear once revered uh, with any of those. You'll also have to farm materials and gold for the crafted gloves and chest pieces. Um, they really aren't that hard to get if you are a bit invested, so you absolutely must have both of them. And if you have uh, more gold than you can actually spend, then buy yourself uh, one of the epic Dark Moon card trinkets. Uh, it would be a great improvement and even immensely facilitate things. But it's uh, absolutely not a must have, so only get one if you can. Once you reach uh, some 466 equipped eye level, uh, start fully optimizing your gear with uh, enchantments, gems, reforge, etc for some badass action in normal motion. Okay, uh, let's see more closely where and how to effectively gear up for this first raid. When you hit uh, level 90 for the first time, uh, your gear will mostly consist of some low level quest rewards uh, gear. And uh, this of course won't even be enough for random heroics. However, uh, if you manage to get a few level 90 quest rewards, things should be much easier and quicker to get to the minimum eye level required uh, for the dungeon finder. It is thus a good idea uh, to get to the Dread Waste as soon as possible, then to the Veil uh, of Eternal Blossoms, which are the level 90 zones, so you can collect some higher level quest rewards. You should certainly be able to quest in the Dread Waste at level 8-9 and possibly at level 88. Try it out. 
it's also uh, a good idea uh, to spend some more time in these two zones as later on once you get exalted with um, the Klaxi and the Golden Lotus uh, factions which are the two factions of the zone uh, you will get to win a now some level 489 eye level amulet and wing useful for your spec and class check uh, the descriptions below after the video for more on this okay uh, let's focus a bit more on heroic gear farming in order uh, to use the dungeon finder to queue for a random heroic you will need to have a max gear level of 440 as we just saw, uh, this won't necessarily be the case when you first hit level 90 and so you will need uh, to form some higher level gear elsewhere even at this stage. Um, one way to do this is buy or craft a couple of PvP level 450 gear to facilitate this, especially if you are only missing a couple of uh, eye levels. In MOP, uh, those pieces are much less crappier than you may think and will most certainly uh, be better than what you already have when you freshly hit 90. So really don't hesitate for a second if you need to get moving quickly. Farming uh, scenarios is also an option as they don't have any gear restriction and at the end of each random event uh, you receive a chest that can drop a level 463 uh, gear useful uh, for your class. Uh, since they are quickly done they may definitely become a very effective way to uh, get some useful pieces since those pieces will necessarily have useful stats for you. Once uh, you reach the required 440 eye level, jump headfirst into uh, random heroics and start farming some 463 eye level pieces. And also don't forget to use the loot uh, journal uh, to pinpoint any specific item you might want to loot first. Okay, uh, next up is Elifer. Raid finders uh, won't be accessible during the first raid lockout. You'll have to wait till the 9th of October uh, to access the first one and hope to loot any level 476 gear. The loot uh, system has changed as well as there is no longer a raid rolling or need and greed uh, mechanism. In MOPLFR, once a boss dies, every single player uh, gets a given fixed chance to loot an item, which will always uh, be useful for his spec and class. This uh, chance to loot something is absolutely independent of who is in the raid and is totally uh, the same for every member of the raid. No more uh, frustration thus, because some greedy dude decided to ninja this one piece you've been farming for months. There is also a new item called uh, Elder Charm of Good Fortune which will allow you to get a second loot roll after a boss kill to try to get a loot anyways if you were unlucky uh, during the first die roll. There is more on this in the descriptions below. This uh, means that a Mogushan LFO raid will have to be done every single week in order to hope to loot a couple of uh, 476 level gear and get closer uh, to the recommended eye level for the normal mode. Okay, uh, next up is how to get some crafted gear without having to sell your girlfriend's underwear since uh, crafted items will cost so much. There are two gear uh, pieces you can craft through tailoring, leather working and blacksmithing as long as you have a little bit of gold to spend or time to farm some basic crafting materials. The first one uh, is the crafted level 476 gloves, then you have the crafted chest with this same eye level. The plants and uh, patterns are fairly easy to get as you only need uh, to be honored at uh, the Klaxi or the Golden Lotus factions to buy them. Here is a list of the different um, materials you'll need for each craft. As you can see, spirits of uh, harmony are needed for every single craft as they represent the new Chaos Orbs. However, unlike Chaos Orbs, they are bind uh, when picked up. And so, although uh, you can farm or buy the required leather, cloth and ore, 
uh, your crafter will personally uh, need to farm enough spirits of harmony for every craft. Fortunately, uh, the spirits of harmony you'll loot during your heroic farming and questing, etc., will be usable as currency uh, to buy the needed leather, cloth, and ore, and hence allow you to save some time and gold in the process. There is also another uh, set of crafted gear with a 496 eye level that will only be accessible once you actually get into Mogushan and start killing and farming stuff unless you really have that much gold to spend. This is uh, mainly because you'll need a couple of blood spirits which are the equivalent of the essence of destruction in DS and thus will only be lootable on raid bosses. I will add a link in the description below for more on these uh, level 496 crafts. Now, uh, let's see how Justice and Valor points can be used in MLP. In order uh, to use your Justice and Valor points to buy gear in MLP, you'll first have to increase your reputation uh, with three different factions. The first one being the Shadow Pan faction, then the Klaxi and then the Golden Lotus faction once you reach level 90. Here is a list of the different gear pieces you can buy from them. Don't hesitate to pause and take your time to look through these items. I'll also be adding uh, a link in the description below for more on these three factions. Okay, uh, let's finish this guide with a simple gearing timeline to summarize things. Use the first week to level to 90 and farm heroics and scenarios as much as possible and also to craft epic gear and start grinding your different reputations for some more uh, epic items later on. In the second week, T4 normal Mogushan progression can come before T3 LFRs if your raid is confident enough and can manage to gear up quickly without the use of LFRs. If not, simply keep increasing your reputations and farming heroics and raid finders until your own raid gets ready. Don't forget to farm uh, conquest points every week as well to buy some uh, 483 eye level PvP gear. Yep, as I said earlier, in MOP PvP gear are often just as strong as the PvE ones, so uh, don't hesitate for a second to replace any lesser uh, eye level gear you might still have with a better PvP one. That's it really, uh, if you follow all of this, there is absolutely no reason you shouldn't gear up quickly and effectively enough to go have some fun in the Mogushan vault. In any case, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well if you do like this video. Feel free to subscribe if you do like these videos in general. As always, thanks a lot for sticking around and I hope to see you in the next one.